Alright guys, so a couple weeks ago during my trip to AX, I had actually picked up this one item from a random portal I just happened to hack and uh, thought nothing of it. Completely forgot about it until now. Uh, this is a MUFG capsule. Uh, what it does is that you throw items into it and over time it replicates them. Although the chances of it doing that are entirely random. In fact, the community have uh, run several tests. There are several, um, I guess, spreadsheets, graphs, and what have you not, and this thing is truly random. There's no way to pinpoint what causes it to generate one item more so over another. All right, so let's have a look at this model in Cura. Uh, this particular model is done by a person named Kudo. I think that I'm pronouncing his name right, on uh, Thinkiverse. The link I will have posted in the description. So have a look at that if you want a printout of this. Uh, he's included um, pretty much the lid, the body, everything you'll need to uh, put this whole thing together. He's also included this one extra piece. Uh, the file name for that is uh, Red Capsule 01 Slot. And what that is, if we have a look at this, is uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, this lid over here, except it has a little slot in it, and that is for um, coins, pretty much. So you can pretty much use this capsule as uh, as a little piggy bank, a ingress-themed piggy bank. Uh, although, for this project, I won't be printing this particular piece. I just want it as a, uh, just the capsule as a little showpiece. Of course, I might print that at a later date, but for the time being, this is what I'll be printing. Uh, this is, I think, is like what 14 pieces. Uh, Cura, I can get, I can get it to fit all in one yo on Cura, but it's unfortunately my printer just doesn't like Cura, so I'm going to use its own software, uh, Replicator G. So from there, I'm just going to have to create a bunch of files and start printing those out. That and uh, this is probably going to be a very, very long print. I mean, just look at this. Cura says 20, uh, no, that's, I can't even read. Cura says 14 hours, but my printer's a bit slower than this setting, so I'm guessing somewhere about 20. Now, I did discover that my old camera had a time-lapse function. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't have the battery capacity to actually sit through 17 hours of this thing printing. So instead of getting footage that is from start to finish, I'm just getting bits and pieces of each one of these prints. The next time I do this, I'll have to figure out a different solution maybe have my phone record a time-lapse and have it plugged in directly to the wall or something or maybe a laptop with a webcam and just record directly to the hard drive but some other solution other than this because right now it's just battery constraints so this whole project took me about 21 hours to print out uh, over the course of four days the reason being is that there is this weather system that's going through our area and uh, I have no idea how this printer will actually react to a sudden power outage just taking some precautions because I don't want to damage anything even though it's hooked up to a surge protector. And I didn't want to leave this thing running overnight either. I haven't uh, done many prints with this printer so I don't quite trust it just yet. That and my parents are asleep and the last thing I need them to do is to wake up 3 o'clock in the morning to a 3D printer. This thing isn't the most quiet thing in the world. It sounds kind of like a hairdryer on low setting. Here's an interesting way of removing your prints. One of these. Oh great, I'm gonna get this off now. Now I'm going to be stuck with two of these with a really difficult time of getting off. Great. Alright, so everything's been printed out. This piece took 17 hours. This whole project took about uh, 21 to about 22 hours, somewhere around there. 
This took about two and a half hours, 17 hours. These three pieces took about, uh, what, hour and a half? And then this took about roughly about the same time, hour, hour and a half-ish. So the only thing left to do now is to assemble this whole thing. And I went out with a hot glue gun. And there's our lid. Just got some cleanup work to do because I got some extra glue here that I didn't intend to. Now we just gotta get the bottom on. And that is that. Just gotta clean off some excess hot glue. All right, so our capsule is done, as you can see. The lettering is actually molded into the, the lid itself, although I'm not too sure where this little logo came from. I don't think you can see that from the in-game model. But this actually fits pretty nicely. And there.